Uh, hey there, everybody. Just doing a review for this A Logic 100 watt rapid power car charger. And so, what's included in the box is the car charger, of course, and a manual. It would have been nice to have a USB C to USB C charging cable, considering that this is a 100 watt car charger. But uh, anyways, just taking a look at the box right over here, pretty simple box. Over the back, you get the specifications. Um, as I mentioned before, this uh, car charger does have a USB-C port that has a 100 watt power delivery output, as well as a um, PPS uh, super fast charging 100 watt output. Um, there is a USB type A port on the car charger that has a 18 watt output. Um, if you're charging only from the USB-C port alone, that's the only time you can fully use the 100 watt power delivery output. But if you're charging two devices at the same time, one from the USB-C port and one from the USB type A port, there is a 65 and 18 watt split of power. So you do get a slightly slower charging speed on the USB-C on the uh, USB -C port. So just something to know, but still <laughs> that's pretty impressive. A 65 watt output coming from a um, car charger while you're still um, able to fast charge most uh, phones using the USB type A port. And I'm gonna be testing that out as well in this review. Just taking a look at the car charger over here, it does have about a three inch length. Um, this piece this piece right over here has about a 1.2 inch uh, form factor. And so um, it will be sticking out a bit more than smaller car chargers that I've reviewed on this channel. But you know, once again, this is a car charger. You just stick it into your cigarette lighter port in your car. It's gonna be able to power um, from it and it's gonna be out of the way most of the time. Um, you know, the size of car chargers isn't really a big deal. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, the, the design of it is a bit different. Like this uh, torpedo shaped design is pretty cool to look at, but you're not going to be looking at it because it is going to be plugged into your cigarette lighter port. And uh, so, yeah, these are the two ports. As you can see, the 65 watt to 100 watt output from the USB-C PD port and the uh, USB type A quick charge port right over here. And so, yeah, I'm just going to get to testing it out right now. I do have this uh, River 2 power station that has a cigarette lighter port right over here. Um, it's going to be using this. It's going to perform the same way as it would in your car. Uh, this is this is just convenient for me to do to uh, to do uh, testing with. But yeah, just plug it into your cigarette lighter port just like that. And uh, one of the coolest things about this uh, A Logic uh, car charger is that uh, green LED light that turns on around the uh, charging ports. It just looks really cool. I'm not too sure if the uh, uh, camera is doing it justice, but it's just really cool to look at. It's, it's going to make it easier to see the car charger at night. And so the first device I'm going to start charging is my uh, Lenovo Flex 5 laptop use, using the 100-watt uh, USB-C port. And it should be able to fast charge the laptop because we're going to be able to utilize that 100-watt output um, fully. And uh, so, yeah, we got about a 30-watt input, um, well, 27 0.8 watts going into my Lenovo laptop and at the same time let me charge my um, Galaxy Note 9 from the uh, USB type A port right here all right and this should be able to fast charge from the USB type A port while I'm charging my Lenovo laptop and uh, yeah fast charging for my Note 9 and charging did just restart for the Lenovo laptop but it just shot right back up to a uh, 27.8 watts and we've currently got a full output of about 42 watts coming from this uh, A-Logic car charger. And so yeah, you will be able to fast charge most USB-C chargeable laptops. And at the same time, you're gonna be able to fast charge a phone while you're driving. If that's something that you want, this is gonna be on the car charger to, to do it with. Well, not the only car charger on the market, but you know, this is a 100 watt car charger that, that's gonna allow you to uh, fast charge tablets um, laptops and phones and basically any other USB-C chargeable devices and so yeah that's pretty cool um, but also I wanted to test out if I could fully utilize that 100 watt output which is why I have my Accenture's power bank right over here that has a 100 watt input speed so we're going to actually see if the USB-C port on this A-Logic car charger can output 100 watts and let's go check it out yep looks like we're getting to 100 watts and yeah about 94.3 watts. The uh, Forever 2 power station is reading 102 watts right there with its output. So yeah, we're getting the full 100 watts and when charging a single device from the USB-C port. Um, let me see if the uh, USB-C port does drop down to 65 watts when I plug in my Galaxy Note 9 while this uh, power bank is recharging, which it should. And yeah, fast charging for the Note 9 because the uh, USB type A port is still able to output is still able to output 18 watts even when you're charging two devices simultaneously 
And yeah, there we go. As expected, as the specifications say uh, for this uh, car charger, the uh, USB-C port drops down to a 65 watt output. And uh, that's exactly what's happening right here. And I'm still able to fast charge my Note 9. Really not much else to say. Uh, this is a beast of a car charger. There are other um, 100 watt um, car chargers on the market, which is pretty cool. You know, if you want to be able to charge nearly any device that you want to while you're driving, while you're driving, you know, while you're driving to the library, to work, um, if, you're on your, if you're on a road trip and you want to be able to charge your uh, laptop, uh, this is the car charger to do it with. It's possible, at least. <laughs> and uh, down in the description below, I will have a link to the uh, product page for this A-Logic 100 watt car charger, as well as a link to the review article over at chargerharbor.com that I did write. You can find that down in the description below as well. And I will see you all on the next video, all right? Goodbye.